Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at five of the simplest redstone doors that you can make in Minecraft. Now to start things off, I just want to mention two things. The first one is, if you're a bit of a professional at redstone, then this video probably doesn't apply to you, as it's going to be covering quite a lot of stuff that you already know. The next thing that I want to mention is, if you do enjoy this sort of video, please be sure to hit that like button, and I'll be sure to make more of them. But anyway, how about we crack on, and I'll show you what I've got for you. This first door that we're going to be taking a look at today is coincidentally the first redstone contraption that I ever attempted, and I have to say, I really did struggle with it. All I wanted to do was open both doors at the same time, but sadly my beginner redstone brain really did struggle with this concept. However, as you can quite plainly see, I've put in all the hard work for you, so now you've got yourself a functional design that you can just build in your survival world without having to go through all of my struggles. So how about we take a look at how to build it. So you want to get things started with a 4x5 area, our door is going to be facing in this direction and this level here is going to be your floor level. So the first thing you want to do is place two pieces of redstone dust like this, two blocks on top of those and then pressure plates on top of that. That is going to be the input for your circuit, so you want to go a couple blocks along like this and your doors are going to be going on these blocks right here. Next up you just want to place blocks on either end of this redstone here, a redstone torch off to the side of both of these blocks, then a block up like this with a redstone torch off to the side of that one as well on both sides. Next up you want to place in the archway for your door and that is of course going to conceal these redstone torches so that your door will open up and then finally for the input on the other side you just want to place a couple blocks out like this, pressure plates here, redstone dust on top of both of these blocks, then you want to place more redstone dust there, a repeater running straight into a block that is going to power that redstone so that you have an input on either side. Next up we've got the 2x2 piston door. This is one of the simplest builds that I'm going to be featuring in today's video. When we walk over these pressure plates the pistons open up allowing us to walk through and the same thing goes for the other side. And if we take a look around the back you can see that there really isn't much redstone to it and it's nice and easy to build. With this one you want to start things off with a 3x6 area. Your door is going to be facing in this direction and this level here is going to be your floor level. So you want to place two blocks in like this on either side with pressure plates on top of both of those. Redstone dust on either side of these pressure plates and they block up like this a redstone torch and a block on top of that torch with sticky pistons facing inwards and blocks on their faces and that will make up one side of the door. Of course if you only want to make a 2x1 piston door then that is all the redstone that you need to do and you can cut out all this stuff but if you do want to make the 2x2 design then you just want to replicate the same thing on the other side so that is redstone torch with a block on top and then your sticky pistons facing across like this and another one there with blocks on their faces and as you can see we have got ourselves a functional piston door on the one side however if you want to link up the other side all you have to do is place redstone dust going across like this and redstone dust going across like this then it's just simply a matter of placing in your archways and you're all done and dusted for those of you who are into your trapdoors, this one should definitely tickle your fancy. If we just flick this lever right here, you will see our trapdoor opens up, allowing us to pass on through nice and easily. And when we flick this lever once again, you will see it returns to being completely flush with the floor, so it's completely hidden away. No one would know about it if you didn't tell them about it. Now as far as the redstone is concerned, this one is incredibly simple. It really is one of the easiest builds I've seen for a very long time. We just flick this lever here. On the one side we have got these sticky pistons which push across this sticky piston facing upwards with a block on top. So that's how you do that. And then the redstone wiring is quite simply a block, a block and a block with a repeater set to two ticks running into this block that is next to these sticky pistons. So they power extending, pushing this piston across which then extends to be flush with the floor. Just like the previous build was flush with the floor, this one is flush with the wall. This is a 2x2 two two flush piston door. When we flick this lever, you will see that the wall folds back, opens up, allowing us to pass on through. Then if we just head back outside, flick this lever once again, you will see that the door closes, completely flush with the wall, completely hidden away. No one would ever know it was there. And thankfully, due to bud pistons, it really is extremely easy to build. A monkey could do it. To build this one you want to get things started with a 3x6 area, your door is going to be facing in this direction and your floor level is this level right here. So you want to head around the back and place a 2x2 two two area of pistons with two sticky pistons facing inwards like that with blocks on all their faces. Then you want to place a 2x2 two two area of pistons and then two more pistons with blocks on their faces. Then on top of all of these you just want to place blocks right the way across like this. And in the middle you want to place two bits of redstone dust, a repeater set to two ticks facing in either direction with redstone dust going across like that on either side. Then if we just chuck down our lever, give it a flick you will see all of the pistons extend. So now we have our area to place blocks around, that is going to be our wall. So if we just retract them, the door opens, we flick it again, the door closes. Brilliant. The final door that we're going to be taking a look at in today's video is by far the biggest in terms of redstone and in terms of the size of the door. This is the 3x3 etho door. When we flick this lever here you see the door opens up and when we flick the lever once again you see it all closes 
very nice and quickly and the defining feature of this is the fact that it has a hole in the middle to make all of the redstone nice and simple. Now if you do want a complete 3x3 door with this block in the center here then the redstone is going to be a little bit more complicated but you can find a video to that down in the description but anyway how about I show you how to build this thing. To get the ball rolling you want to have a 2x7 area, your door is going to be facing in this direction and this level here is going to be your floor level. So you want to place three blocks going across like this, redstone dust on top of all of those, that is going to be your input. You want to place redstone torches on the sides of all of these blocks with sticky pistons facing upwards and blocks on all of their faces. That is going to make up the bottom parts of the door. Then you want to extend out this redstone by one block on either side and run that straight up into a block with a redstone torch like this, a redstone torch off to the side with a redstone torch on top of that one, and then a redstone torch here with a block like this. And on the sides of both of those blocks, you want to place a sticky piston there and a sticky piston there with once again blocks on their faces. Then you want to repeat the same thing on the other side. So that is a block up like this, a redstone torch on the side of that block, a redstone torch on the side of this block, a block up like this with a redstone torch on top, and then a block up at the top like this with a sticky piston facing across on both sides like that, and a block up like that. Finally, to finish all of that up, you want to place a couple blocks up like this, a sticky piston facing downwards right there, then you want to place a block on its face, then you want to take the redstone output from this and just carry it up like this into that block there with redstone dust on top of all of those, and you should see that we have got ourselves our full etho door, so when we flick this lever here, we'll see all of the blocks are retracted, when we flick it once again, all of them extend so we have got ourselves a closed door, so now we just need to fill in all the blocks around the edge so that we have our complete door look. And there we go, that is everything done. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.